thought the interaction of Tokoroa last night was the best. This has been a fantastic conference. It's opened my eyes. One of the things that um, is, is talked about in international competency around health services is that when the health services reflect the community that they serve, then you know things are going to get better. And that's what's happening here in Tokoroa. For some time now, Swifix has long held a vision and a dream to be able to bring to our community a number of various health professionals. This next two days is a culmination of that dream. And one of our strengths as an organisation is that the ways that we can reduce our barriers and ex improve access for our community is to actually bring people to them. We're excited that this is uh, actually happening, but more importantly, that we have opened up another window of opportunity for our community to take responsibility for their wellbeing in whatever area that may be. As with all in any situation, um, when you inform, then you give um, a sense of ownership, a sense of power, and more importantly, the self-determination to be the navigators of their own pathway. We're going to begin our next two days of our conference with two focus groups, uh, specifically targeting our men and our women, so that it gives them a forum where they're able to discuss um, the issues that are pertinent to them in that space. And we're excited that uh, this dream has come to be. I sat here last night for the men's area and as they talked prostate cancer, or I was surprised. You know, I expected, uh, in, and I talked to, back at council, and I talked to the men at council, and those over 50 have all had it, because we sort of know, so the message hasn't got through, so I was surprised only two or three hands went up. Please, pōkarakaramai tātou no to tātou mitoatane, Dr Joseph Williams. But for the men folk, when we talked about, gave the presentation on, on, on prostate cancer, and uh, erectile dysfunction here in this room, the, the response, the interaction, the questions, uh, I thought was first class. You know, there were searching questions. The key message that Dr. Joe Williams wanted to put home to the men, if there is something wrong with you, you must share it with your wife first. Share it with your family, because when you're gone, they are left with the burden. I also live with my grandparents, so I also want them to be around for when I finish high school and graduate university. And I want them to be there for my little brother and sister and my little cousins. Uh, so when young Chloe stood up and said, you know, Papa's, mamas, I want you to be here as my grandparents and live with us. That got through, you know. Kia ora te uh, Me take out tupaka no te uh, um, koronga. Thank you for the opportunity to feedback on last night's um, amazing workshop. Hey, ladies, those of you that are still here, we had such a good time, um, and the. The subjects we covered were um, women's health, so Dr. Wonton started talking about health in its totality, not just um, focusing on the cervical screening and the breast cancer, but health, talking about our physical, mental, social, spiritual, emotional health. And then we got the focus on you know, why it's important to have um, cervical screening regularly for our women and breast screening um, and he spoke of the HPV vaccine um, and just this morning he was saying that he received news from his wife that for Pacific in New Zealand we have a 97 percent coverage of the vaccine which means that's one area we're doing really well in so that's enough to be joyful about isn't it wow something that we're really good at <laughs> You know, the thing that struck me about this conference is this is what 
as an agency we strive for, community solutions, community owned, community driven, because we all know that the solutions for our health issues are going to come from the communities themselves. Where it occurs is where the solutions are going to come from. So the fact that you guys have run this your way um, is, it, it's an indication that things will get better. In fact, things are getting better because you're owning the issues and you know what the solutions are and you're making them happen. You're not waiting for the resources to come, you're actually using the resources that you have. And that's, that's more than any government could ask for, more than any agency could ask for. Just to really summarise, I just want to say this, is that um, it's really important for all of us, you know, whether young or old, you've got to know your story. Leadership is by, first of all, understanding who you are so that you are confident to stand in any space possible. It doesn't matter where you are or who you're with. If you don't know your story, then you'll be challenged and pushed, and people will make you do things that you don't want to do. So you need to know your story. You need to know your sense of identity. But at the same time, too, you need to prepare yourself for the opportunities that come around you. And there are many opportunities coming along all the time. And we need to be intentional about grabbing hold of those opportunities. So really my message is to you, to you all, the students mainly, is you know, we, there are lots of opportunities, like Alfred said, there's so much for us specific people. I believe that everyone has a talent of their, their own with the support of their family, um, the, the people around them, their friends, um, you can, you can achieve what you want to achieve if you put your mind to it. Elsa's father was telling me last night that the teachers, when she was going to school here, the teachers didn't think that she could make it to university. See, the same thing happened to me of what Elsa got. When uh, I decided to go to the university, I was told by a, a, a papa a man who was organizing uh, our university trip and he said to me very straight, you can't make it. Yeah, you can't make it. You want to be a dentist because I decided to be a dentist. He said, no, it's going to be too hard for you. You can't make it. And I looked at him and this Aitutaki Pito, Pito Aitutaki came to the fore and he says, bugger you. I'm going to do it there. And I think that's probably what happened to Elsa too. I, I want you guys to be in no doubt that you can do almost anything in health. Okay, we need doctors, nurses, IT people, administrators, we need all of us. It is sad, it took so long for, for Dr. Williams and uh, the health workers in Auckland to, to take note of your request. I've been in, Auckland, in, in New Zealand for the past almost 10 years. It took us 10 years to respond to the request of Tokoro. And today, I would like to see that this is uh, at least once every two years we come and visit our people in Tokoro. If that's acceptable to you people. <laughs>